Here's another 12 volt uh, work line I made up. Great, it's windy today. Uh, I use in my shop. It's just a modified 120 volt light, 100 watt style of uh, work light that I mounted on a pole. The pole is just ducks like it. The pole is just a regular pole that I threaded on the bottom of this old flywheel, mounted a plate on it. It's an old uh, small engine flywheel actually. I just use it as it's heavy and it's solid and it doesn't tip over easy even out here in the grass. The idea with this light is it's, it's uh, LED also. I can slide it up and down the pole if I like by loosening off the thumb screw. I loosen it enough tipping it to whatever angle I like tightening it up which is a little hard to do with one hand but anyway which is kind of nice if you're working low working on brakes or something you need to uh, need somebody holding the light for you so now you have a light down on the pole you can set it at a height of whatever you're working on it also runs off 12 volt battery now out here of course it doesn't look bright at all because it's daylight but instead of trying to hold a light or hook the light on something, you've already got a light there. It's actually, turns out I use it quite a lot. You can mount it up high, of course, slide it up high. I have an airlift table so I can use it up high or use it down low. Here's a second one I made. Actually, this is the first one. The other one's the second one. It's the same idea, just a light I had. I don't use them anymore. It's also LED in there. Now, when I make things, I try to make them so I can reverse them if I have to. In the case of these, it was just the plug. I just soldered some wires on the plug, just on the prongs, taped it up for safety, down to a pair of clips that clip on 12 volt battery. They're marked positive or negative just by their color. Red, typically positive, of course. Black is negative, clip it on the battery. Now, even the light itself, if you can see here, I just used a piece of pen, a plastic pen. I cut a piece of it off the right length. I stuck it on there, I mounted, actually mounted the lights to it and I uh, just marked my poles there, positive and negative, just to make it easier when I hooked it up. So if I have to, I just got to pull the pen out like a regular light bulb would be in there, a halogen long skinny light. Put the halogen light back in, unsolder the wires and plug it in so I can use it as a 110 volt light if I have to, but I haven't. I've had this now about a year and I, that's the way I use it. So actually it's it works out pretty good in the in the dark. No good out here in the light of course, like any light. And uh, between the two of them I use them quite a bit in my garage. They've turned out to be pretty handy. So that's just something else I built. Thanks for watching.